As a chiropractor, I get this question a lot, which is they come in and they say, Doc, I, when I move my neck or I move my knee or I move my back, I hear these popping, cracking sounds. And what is that? What's going on? Sounds like I have gravel in my joint or sand in my joint. And I'm sure there's many of you that have felt this. It's a very common experience and something that we see all the time. The term for this sound is called crepitus. Crepitus, I believe, probably derives from the word decrepit, although you know, it's not a very pleasant thought. But what it means is that the joint itself is becoming a little bit rough. So typically the joints have cartilage along the joints, which would be like smooth glass, and then a layer of synovial fluid there, which is the best lubricator in the world. And the joints then slide very gracefully and gently slide across each other. But as we use those joints over time, they become a little bit rough, and I think of it like pits in the, in the uh, glass. And as that happens, then you get this roughness that's going back and forth. And as that roughness occurs, then it sounds uh, often like gravel or sand in the joint. Um, that's different than the sound that comes when we make an adjustment to the joint, which is cavitation. I explained that in another video. That's actually a change of pressure in the joint. This, this is a, a more of a grinding kind of sound. A lot of people notice this in their knees, in the, in the uh, patellar joint, the kneecap. As they're bending their knees, they'll get creaks. Sometimes they'll feel pops in the knees. Uh, many times in the neck, sometimes in the low back, they'll notice this kind of crepitous sound. Uh, medically, it's considered clinically insignificant. What that word means, clinically insignificant, means that we don't do anything about it. In chiropractic, we consider it clinically significant because it's telling us that the overall health of the joint is deteriorating. So it's going away from being a healthy, uh, nice, lubricated joint. It's getting dry. Ayurveda would say that it has too much vata in the joint. It's dryness in the joint. And so we need more lubrication to the joint. And we can talk Ayurvedically about many things that can lubricate the joint, changing the diet and uh, eating foods that have uh, more alkaline types of uh, uh, energy in them, uh, what we call soma in Ayurveda. But chiropractically, what we look at is actually keeping the joint mobile. When we, when we manipulate the joint and move it, we're actually stimulating those little organs called the synovial villi in the joint and stimulating them to make uh, lubrication, more synovial fluid. So it's not uncommon when a patient comes in as a new patient, maybe they've got that kind of crackling sound in their neck, and after some time of, of manipulating the neck and doing chiropractic adjustment, that that goes away. And the reason it goes away is because um, the stimulation of the adjustment is actually lubricating the joint, and uh, it doesn't change those the, whatever degeneration has occurred there, but it is adding more lubrication to the joint, which helps. So I just wanted to go over that with you. That question comes up a lot, and I thought it might be helpful. So thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next time.